Braylon Wimber, the shortstop, to lead it off for the Gamecocks against Bryce Cunningham. Pitch number one, a fastball inside at 97. That's right, 2-2 two -two pitch. Hard hit ball, scooped up by Vastine, but he can't catch it cleanly, and Brewer will reach. That will likely be an error on the Commodore shortstop. They're kind of a slug first offense. Swung on and missed. Couldn't slug the fastball up and in, and Petrie is a big second out for Cunningham as he records his first strikeout. Double-digit home runs as well. Launches this one to deep left field. Polk at the track. He looks up, and South Carolina takes a 2-0 lead on a long one off the bat of Cole Messina. Yeah, off the bat, you heard uh, pretty much nothing from this crowd because that was a no-doubter. That ball was scorched. A two-run homer, number 11 of the season. RBIs 40 and 41 in South Carolina. They do what they do, and that's a whole lot of this. Pitch right down the middle. Yeah, that's why you, you just can't miss your spots. It was supposed to be a fastball on the outside corner, runs over the middle of the plate. You're an SEC ball, you, you make mistakes. That's what's going to happen. And Another 2-2 pitch to Casas. Land of the breaking pitch for strike three. Good slider there by Cunningham to retire the side. Sanders to the plate, it's ball four, and a good start for Vanderbilt, a leadoff walk to Enrique Bradfield. And you're trying to look into the shadows and try and see the ball off the bat, and it's tough to see. They're trying to read different pitches. Line drive out of the reach of Braswell at second base. Bradfield gonna go first to third, ball bobbled and right. Shrek with a single, runners at the corners with one out. Two and two to Bulger. Out to shortstop, could be two. Out at second, and the turnover to first. Wimmer to Braswell to Casas. And Will Sanders got what he needed, a double play ball, 6-4-3, to retire Vanderbilt in the first. Does a good job repeating that strike zone. Well-executed pitch up in the zone. Seen him get a couple strikeouts that way. Went upstairs and inside to Lee Croy for out number one, strikeout number three. Bounce to the right side. It's a fair ball. Got past Parker Nolan. Down the right field line, Horning digging for second, and will be there. A one-out base runner for South Carolina. I don't know if Parker thought maybe that was going to be a foul ball or, or didn't see it. That's an assumption of what, what I think he was telling Tim Corbin. We'll take a look here. I didn't see a whole lot. I of didn't that. see it. That's a good look at it. Yeah, that's. It, yeah, the the question is, is that left hand? Well, we never got any sort of official announcement. Now is, the call is out. Cunningham sees Braswell sky this one to right. It's Shrek, it's Bradfield. And Shrek makes the play. The first inning and, and a first and third threat. Austin chases away. They'll complete the strikeout as Messina throws the first one up. R.J. Austin, here's another one. Chris Maldonado. Softly hit fly ball to right. Petri got a late break on it, but comes on and makes a sliding catch. Two outs. Let's stand you up a little bit taller. Just, just be an athlete up there. And then that old Miss series, he really came out. And... Polk, first pitch. Off the glove of the third baseman, Lee Croy. Everybody's safe. Big bouncer. Lee Croy couldn't get to it. Vanderbilt has two on base for Jonathan Bastine. More than anything, just want to get a look at everything. Rocket to right, and it's going to get over the head of Petri and go to the wall. One run will score as Nolan comes around. Here comes Polk digging for the plate. This game is tied. Now the throw gets away, and Bastine headed to third. He is safe. RBI double for Jonathan Bastine brings in two, and this game's even at two. Payoff from Sanders to Bradfield. High for ball four. Inning continues for Davis Diaz with runners at first and third. Top 10 matchup. Bradfield goes in the first pitch. Will steal without a throw. The catcher Messina came up. He faked throwing. Diaz down the left field line. That'll get him home. Vastine scores, and here comes Bradfield. A double for Diaz. Vanderbilt in front, four to two. One two pitch to Shrek out on strikes as Sanders gets the K, but Vanderbilt sends eight men to the plate in the second after two. Series opener, top 10 matchup, and Bryce Cunningham hits Evan Stone with the first pitch of the third inning. For this pitching staff, 
Hit hard out to short, might be two. Vastein to second. They get them both. It was actually 6-5-3 on the double play with Diaz making the turn. From his sophomore to junior year in high school, and they're really excited to, to see him make that transition, and that spot opened up after. Fought off that payoff pitch. Now we'll see another. Ball four. The inning continues for Matthew Polk. 2-2. Two -two. Polk chases on a pitch down. Vanderbilt. We're actually down in... Uh, Strike three called to Petri. But, I mean, it was a packed house, and I thought, wow, these guys are really supporting the team. Comasina has supported his team in a big way. Two home runs, no doubters, both of them. A two-run shot in the first, now a solo home run with one out here in the fourth. He cuts the lead in half for the Commodores. Make it four to three. I think that was a little bit more of a no doubter than the first one, holy cow. That was an absolute smash off the bat of Messina. I think it's just another missed pitch right here. Uh, again, I think this time he's trying to come in on Messina, but didn't get there right over the middle of the couple pitches ago. Swing and a miss, Cunningham. Fans Lee Croy to end the inning. Doubt as Jonathan Bastine kept the tag on when he got to second base. To the right side, backhand by Nolan Cunningham, doing what you're supposed to. Got over and covered the back, one out. This one a rocket to deep left center field. Is this game tied? It sure is on a home run by Braswell. South Carolina using the long ball as expected. All four runs on the homer, and we're even at four. Yeah, Braswell's last at bat, he put a, a charge into one. It was a high pop-up, but he took a heck of a swing, and this one straightens it out a little bit more, and yeah, it's a no-doubter as well. Yeah, that's just right down the middle. I mean, every single ball that's left the yard has been a mistake from Cunningham, and South Carolina has been right on it. Yeah, I was thinking as you said that, it feels like all three home runs have put something on the ground and there he does again. This one hugs the line down to the left field corner. Back to back extra base hits for South Carolina as Stone has a one out double. 0 oh and 2 Cunningham looking to make a pitch and he did. That was a big out as he strikes out Wimmer with Stone still at second base. One two pitch again got him through that fastball past Brewer to end the inning of game number one of this weekend series. Fly ball deep right for Shrek. It's out of here. Looking up, and Gosh. you're exactly right. <laughs> Opposite field blast for Ethan Petri. Goodness. Cunningham had struck him out the first two times, but he takes him out of here to right field in South Carolina with a fourth home run and a second lead of the night. It's five to four. The reaction from Shrek to right field was all you needed. I mean, that ball was hit very well off the bat. It wasn't a terrible pitch. It was a little bit up in the zone, but he was just right on time with it. Shrek off the bat, looked back and thought, no, I don't have. Shift on the left side of the infield. There's ball four. So he kept him in the yard. Messina goes to first. And a lot of them were, were solo home runs, so. That's a smash to center field for a base hit. Bradfield gets to the ball quickly, but not before Messina goes first to third. South Carolina with runners at the corners with one out. Against a you know top six opponent It'd be super important off the glove of Nolan South Carolina will add another run Austin fires down to third this one gets loose, but not far enough For Lee Croy to come down from third But in the meantime Horning does go to second with two runs and counting here in the six to go in front six to four Opposite way, Shrek coming on, can't get to it. It's down for extra bases. Both runs will score. Braswell trying to turn it into a triple, and maybe more than that, being waved to the plate. Nope, he's going to stop at third. Took the big turn around third base. Vanderbilt finally able to get the ball back in. South Carolina leading 8-4, to four, a two-RBI triple by Braswell. He has done damage in back-to-back -back innings. Yeah, a heck of an effort by Shrek, and he was all or nothing. Lays out for this just underneath the glove. I mean, he makes that play, you get an out, you're probably going to score one run, but 
It drops, another run scores, and Raswell gets on his horse. I thought he was going to try and go for the four-bagger. I think he was trying to as well, but it gets held up at third base at the last minute. Bunted, they try to squeeze home a run. Laboki flips to first, safe. No one can get the foot to the bag in time. They squeeze home Braswell. That makes it nine to four. Two two again from Laboki. Hit out to short. They get the out at second. Austin with the turn, not in time. They cut down the lead runner Stone. Wimmer replaces him at first now with two outs. Oh two, pitch is wide. Throw to second is strong, and he's out. What a play by Jack Bulger. Nowhere to, to, to play him. Second hit of the night for Matthew Polk. Two out single. Stops a string of 10 straight, sat down by South Carolina pitching. You know, one through nine guys that really do the job. Fast nine out on strikes. One, two pitch. Brewer out on strikes. Laboki records his first K. And that pitch inside and got him. South Carolina leads 0 for 3 against his former team. I think he's going to be 1 for 4. That one's going to get down. Shrek gets over to cut it off. They'll wave the runner. No, they won't. They will hold up. Patry at third. A two out double by Casas. Runners lead from second and third. Left side and through. We'll get in two more runs. Petri scores, Casas to the plate. South Carolina hitting double figures. That makes it 11 to four. Two out, two RBI single by LeCroy. Carson Horning, it's a long drive to left, looking up and see you later. Wow. Matthew Polk could only watch. Horning, it's Carolina's fifth home run of the night. That makes it 13 to four. Every single ball that South Carolina has hit tonight has had a little uh, extra juice behind it. I mean, they are not getting cheated up there. They are taking some big, big hacks. And take a look at the swing. Back to the mound, Laboki flips to first to end the inning. 3-2 pitch, goes the opposite way with a shift employed. And Bradfield, the leadoff man here in the seventh with a base hit. You're reacting and you're aggressive and you're just letting your good athletic reflexes take over. Smothered by the third baseman, Lee Croy, the throw way offline. He had plenty of time. Diaz is safe at first as Bradfield goes to third. Runners at the corners and nobody out. Obviously, you throw your best guy on Friday and try and get the win. Moonshot to right center field. Will stay in play for Stone. Bradfield coming down from third. And Diaz alertly moves up to second. Sack fly for R.J. Shrek with one out. Opposite way, his first hit of the night brings home a run. Diaz turns third and comes to the plate. That makes it 13 to six, RBI single for Bulger. And you talk about manufactured runs, that's, that's all Diaz right there. He, he was able to read that. The three. Bouncer left side of the infield, gonna be a tough play. LeCroy made it on the move. He throws out Maldonado at first to end the inning. Tired. <laughs> Go to Hoover and battle it out some more. A bunt left side of the infield, charging Diaz. What a play. Nope, safe at first. High for ball four. Line drive to center. Next two have reached. Next three have reached. Bases loaded. The walk to Messina. Taking a hack. Runners on the move. The 3 2 pitch is in the dirt. South Carolina scores a run on a bases loaded walk as Casas heads down to first. Tim Brewer comes in to score. Region leaves the bases loaded as he strikes out Lee Croy. Strike three call. That was a nice pitch. Slow breaking ball. With two outs in the ninth, Thompson to the plate. Got him swinging. 2 2 pitch. Shrek out on strikes. South Carolina uses five straight scoring innings and five home runs to take game one of this top 10 three-game series.